inventors such as Thomas Edison, found ways to manipulate electric currents, to light lamps and houses, and to carry dots and dashes long distances through wires. They also created ways to generate and distribute electricity in ever more complex grids. But in the days since Edison's illuminating station was the world's premier power plant, engineers have developed much more subtle ways to use the flow of electricity. Today, a single computer chip contains an electric circuit as complex as the street map of an entire city. And in principle, the very existence of a major city such as Los Angeles depends on many of these circuits. LA is, of course, more than a freeway. But without an engineering miracle, it would be no more than a dusty village between the desert and the deep blue sea. And that miracle is called the Metropolitan Water District. Whether designing water circuits or electric circuits, it all boils down to controlling the flow of currents. 163,000 cubic meters of water per hour flow through the Colorado River aqueduct toward the Los Angeles Basin. 1.3 amps of electric current flow through this copper wire. Just as water makes life possible, the flow of electricity makes light possible. How much light depends on the amount of current, which is measured in amps. One amp is one coulomb of electric charge per second flowing through a circuit. In other words, electric current, I, is the rate of flow of electric charge, Q. At any instant, this current is the same everywhere along the wire because electric charge, like water, is neither created nor destroyed along the way. It just keeps flowing along. While rivers have flowed for thousands of years, electricity was basically a static field until 1800. That was the year Alessandro Volta charged ahead and invented the battery. This new source of power, called the voltaic pile, made a sustained flow of electricity possible and opened the floodgates of progress. With it, Sir Humphrey Davy soon extracted brilliant new metals, sodium and potassium, from the common salts, soda and potash. A few years later, Hans Christian Ersted deflected a magnetic needle with nothing but the current from a voltaic pile and so discovered electromagnetism. Later, in the 19th century, Thomas Edison used the continuous flow of electric current provided by a voltaic pile to develop the first electric lamp.